I was actually raised in the third gender of the Cook Islands, so that is Akavainia. And I think that's really important because the third gender of the Cook Island has a function within the household. And so that function of that third gender is a really important part of my identity. Kia orana, my name is Cam, Cam Ingu Tavai Young. I was born and raised in the beautiful Hawke's Bay and I'm in my third year of a Bachelor of Science at the University of Otago. I am 20 years old and a Virgo. <laughs> so my major is in anatomy, which is the study of the human body and with my minor in Pacific Island Studies. I recently started a role at Te Whare Tawhiro, which is the university's sexual violence prevention and support unit. I do mentoring. I have this passion and this desire to be a Pacific researcher, maybe a Pacific lecturer in the future. I also do a bit of tutoring on the side. I'm involved with our student politics and student associations here at the university. And you're like 20. <laughs> yeah, I'm 20. <laughs> So I'm the youngest of six kids. Yeah. I was raised by a solo mum. Uh, my mum is my real life superhero. She raised us six kids, as well as providing for us really awesome opportunities to grow and develop. On my 17th birthday, when I baked a rainbow cake and came out as gay to everyone, it was a real, um, real turning point in my life. Um, I say that because that's a big part of my journey and coming down to Otago, this is a time not of hibernation anymore but a season of giving and a season of life for me. Step into my identity a little bit more and become who I want to be in life. So I live in a five bedroom flat, it is nice and cosy and warm. There are uh, four other young women who live here with me, all Pacific. Our flat is really cool because it's part of a big complex and it's full of Pacific people like Rosella who like to sneak by and sell our food. Um, <laughs> Our Pacific community here is so supportive and tight-knit and we are always advocating for one another. There are a few Pacific students in the papers that I take. So my major is in anatomy, which is the study of the human body. In some classes, you'd be lucky to get maybe five other Pacific students. Yes, it does get a little bit um, terrifying at times to step into a an environment that's predominantly um, Pākehā, but I think that builds a lot of resilience and a lot of strength in our Pacific students. I think we're really lucky here at the University of Otago because we have a really awesome division of health sciences, um, specifically a Centre for Pacific Health and Pacific Island Research Student and Support Unit. And there are no wrong answers. Everything will be right because it is up to your interpretation. What does it mean to be Pacific? There's the ideas of physical health, mental health, spiritual health, um, and there are a lot of different Pacific Indigenous researchers who are looking into all of those different topics. And so as a collective and as a community, we're all targeting this idea of Pacific health so that hopefully we can create a, bit, um, a better health system, a better education system for our new Pacific Tawira who are coming through. My minor in Pacific Island Studies is so awesome for me because I get to learn about our Pacific peoples and learn about our history, our development, our strengths, which is really important, as well as perhaps things that we need to work on. Combining anatomy and Pacific Island Studies is a really unique mix of disciplines and of subjects, but I found that there are still so many great opportunities that come from that in research, volunteering, community work as well, that stem from this combination. Something I'm really passionate about is sexual and reproductive well-being of Pacific peoples. So that's the idea of not just gender sexuality, um, gender expression, but also the concepts of contraception, um, safe relationships. One of the biggest challenges about being Pacific in a Western institution is the idea that we have differing worldviews. And so when we view things like reproductive well-being, reproductive um, biology, we see it in a very tapu lens, in a very different way than non-Pacific people. Often our Pacific understandings of these taboo topics um, acts as an inhibitor, and so we're not able to experience learning the way as the way non-Pacific people do. We understand what these topics are, but we don't necessarily have the vocabulary to express that. I think with a little bit more effort and compassion for our Pacific students, we will be able to equip them with those skills in order to be champions and be pioneers in the future. I didn't see anyone else that looked like me growing up. Proudly Pacific, proudly queer, um, proudly a nerd, which I am. And so not only do I need to understand what it means to be Pacific myself, 
but I need to understand it in a way that I can give it back and share it back to younger students.